All right, all right, all right. So uh, we are back, and for this video, uh, it's gonna be a very specific video. This is going to be a training montage. Um, so if you are not interested, that's understandable. This entire video is just going to be me uh, fighting mostly goblins for training. Um, if you're not interested, you can either uh, speed it up or skip over it, and that'll be fine. Um, although I will still do commentary and, and chat a little bit throughout. Um, so let's head down and check out our goblins. Now something you can do, you know, I showed before, you can cast Zap before the battle starts. You can have rocks that you throw at them, but you can also cast uh, Flame Dart and things like that before things actually get started. You can do a little bit of damage to these guys heading in. Oops. will be particularly interesting as a magic user. Uh, it's my strength, uh, vitality, and agility are all still quite low, so my health and stamina are not particularly high. But luckily the goblins do not pose a great threat, um, pretty much since the beginning of the game. What does become an issue is when they start mobbing up on you, and you'll see that in a few minutes. Eight, nice. Five, and four. Uh, the number of silvers you get for each of these guys is always the same based on where they fall. Go up here, and do a little sleep. Let's actually I'll step down first and then cast zap. It's now magically charged. Let's just go. Alright. So we're gonna use whatever flame darts we can. Which is not a lot. And hit him with a zap powered stab. And they only show a total of three enemies at a time, so um, if you lose track, you can be very confused about how many people you have left, uh, which, as you see the stamina points dropping there, uh, can be a problem if you're not really sure what you have left. As it is, I'm not 100% certain that I have enough to take this out, but I'm pretty sure. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go. You know, I won't get the money for beating them, but I honestly don't care a great deal about that, so it's fine. And that should really be enough. Sunset approaches, alright. Hey! Hello, friend. Oh, I forgot to cast Zap. That's fine. And excellent. So... Flame Dart's getting significantly more potent now, which is nice. Allows us to do more damage and uh, conserve more of our mana points. Mix it a little bit with the slashes and the stabs. This is going to be the... Oops. Five. All right. I believe it is ten silvers to a gold. So between them, we just got four gold, which is nice. Now, should take a little walk. Oops. And head up to Arana's piece and sleep for the night. Sleep all night. All right. So the way that uh, leveling works up amongst the games, uh, when you beat one of the games, uh, you can choose to simply start the next game, or uh, as a new character, 
or you can import a character from a previous game uh, with all of your current stats uh, and items and whatnot. Um, yeah, sure. We'll just actually you know what? No, I don't want to do this right now. I want to keep going with the training ground. Um, so part of the importance of training is making sure that you're not very, very under leveled for uh, the next game. When you head into the second game, you do not get any more uh, additional stat points to add to your character. Um, the games after that, you do. Not for the first one. Or the second one, rather. And you should do it, yeah. Do that. So, we know we'll get 35, 5, I think this guy's the poker loser, yep, this guy has 4, 8, 35, and 5, so, started to rack up a decent amount of cash, so, 12 gold, um, plus this one, 13, so we'll come up here, and what I'm going to do is sleep probably just one, Let's see if we want to sleep for two, uh, just one. So, what I'm going to try and do is hunt down a goblin out in random so that uh, I don't want to fight a brigand. Get up here, he will leave. This is where the spore spitting spiria or whatever they are called are hanging out. Um, and then I can get an extra bit of work on our stamina by doing this. One hit away from death, I believe. So we'll practice now our dodging. Uh, against the goblins, it's not overly necessary to dodge much. For some of the other enemies, the brigands, um, some of the guys that we'll see later, can be a lot more useful. And each time that we do, we burn just a little bit of our stamina. And running through stamina this way is, A, a good way to build up your dodging ability, which for us right now is quite low. Um, but it can also help build up your vitality and agility, thereby increasing our stamina. So the le lower that your uh, dodge ability is, the less likely you are to actually manage to dodge, the um, more you know, hit frames there are. And overall, the harder it is, I'll probably kill him now before I die. And let's see if our dodge went up any. So strength has gone up by about 12. Weapon use has gone up a little bit. Dodge jumped a bit. Intelligence, agility, vitality is up to 61, so that's real nice. And 52 on magic is also nice to have. All right. Like nine minutes so far, it's good. Probably be able to sleep for two, I would think. Oh, there's not. Hmm. Well, I take one of these health potions. And what time of day is it? Mid morning. Oh, good. Still early. Here we go. Oops. To town and uh, pick up some potions. I forget if the cost is any different between Zara and the healer. Let's find out. I don't remember if the healer sells mana potions. I think she did. Well, what can I do for you this time? You can't do anything with her until she gets over and starts working on her stuff. So mana is 60. I think Zara was 75. So we get two 
of these. And I think I have enough for stamina, but I don't think I'll get one. Good. Alright. Now I forget if they restore a set amount or a set percentage, uh, but I guess we will find out. I'm trying to get a random encounter. You can always be certain that someone is tracking you if the game doesn't let you sleep. Maybe I'll head over towards where the brigands are. Give that a shot. Target. Oh, actually, I think I'm too. Yeah. One screen too high. Our Antwerp friend. And now you can almost always encounter a brigand uh, between these two screens. There we go. So hopefully this will work. There we go. Seven. Oh, that's not that much. Okay, so we should have five, oh, seven points left. Okay. And if we take our mana potion, drink burns as it goes down. We now have 32. Okay. Um, so it probably fills that set amount. So, let's take a little rest, and uh, now we will go back to the, um, actually, where do our frame darts at? 43, good. Snap is 12. Let's, I'll wait till we get there. Go back to our goblin training ground. Takes three now to kill him. There we go. And I'm gonna love where my health's at, but I'll do a little more dodge training on this last guy. Probably won't run through the whole stamina bar, but we'll do a little bit. sleep for the night. Oops. Uh, oh, I'm about to see if I can get a little bit of sleep in. Being patient. Stamina magic. Okay. Um, after. Let's find something random out in the woods. So we have our mana points up just a little bit more. Probably in the next video, we'll uh, 
take on Erasmus in the Mage's Maze, um, and then pretty much be ready to go forward with uh, the remainder of things in the game, the, the true quests. Ooh, there's a goblin for us. Where'd he go? Hmm. Way down there. He's still following us, or we'd be able to sleep. Hmm. Maybe we just got a little buggy. Alright. Soros, Brigand, Goblin, anything? Bueller, Bueller. Ah, uh, there we go. Hello, friend. Two of those. Just sleep, refill all of our stuff. And hit it again. Mm, I'm just gonna leave. Actually. Yeah, sure. We'll do this quick. Just to be safe. Coins carefully placed in every pouch. Comfortably among the fragrant flowers. Actually, something I bet we'd be able to do now, particularly with our magic bowl, is take on this bad boy. Um, we just saved it, so we'll just risk it. And I think this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah. Being a magic user does have its advantages. We will search our fallen enemy. Search of a dead ogre's body produces no treasure. However, the treasure chest he is carrying lies beside his body. The dead ogre's huge club is much too heavy for you to lift. So let's see if we can take this treasure chest. The chest is locked. Hmm. I feel like we have a solution to that. The spell is too weak to... Oh, okay. All right. Do this a few times. I don't know why it's taking so long for it to load that response each time.
anticipation is killing me. I'm not even certain how much magic I have left. Uh, whenever this does open, or we run out of magic and move away, we won't go into the cave yet. I said I'll save that for a future video. Um, probably after we do the Mage's Maze. But that definitely is the next step on our path. Hey, there we go. And what's in there? One gold and 43 silver. Uh, otherwise known as less than one round at the Goblin Training Ground. Magic's up to 59, so that's nice. Almost out of magic, but that's okay. All right. Um, let's see how well we're doing combat-wise by trying to take on the Training Ground. Could fight that friggin, but I don't know. That was supposed to. Let's go pure combat for him. And we'll be able to rest up and restore just a little bit of more magic before we fight the goblin training ground. That's probably all we're going to be allowed to do. Does that cost three? And what are we at right now? Twenty-one. Now just a flame. All right. One, two, three, and four. Which... Particularly against the goblins, you don't require a lot of skill, but you do still have to have some decency to your timing on your attacks. They don't just automatically give you it. Dodging since we're already so low anyway. Yeah. Alright, so I think that this is the maximum number of goblins that will spawn at a given time. Uh, they might do eight, but I think seven is where it stops. Usually I have more trouble, but maybe we're trained up enough that it's, uh, you know, weapon use and everything is high enough that it's not so much of a problem. 
Wow, come on. It also helps when you take away two thirds of their health before the fight starts. Uh, they hide behind their shields very, very well. The effective method is often to dodge their attack and then follow behind it, but your timing has to be pretty good. You usually stun lock them for a couple of hits at least. If you do it really well, you can really run through all of their health stun locking them, but getting that first hit is often the hardest part. Right. Well, we'll do a few more and then probably put an end to our training. I actually really like the training aspects of playing these games, but eventually you do a lot of it all at once, it uh, becomes a grind. Uh. Ah. Should really check on the keyboard controls. They really are easier to have, do the combat that way, but it's been too long since I've used them. I don't know what they are anymore. dodging here. Maybe not. Spoke too soon. That's what I get. Getting cocky. off to town and get another potion and then when we start the next video we will be ready to go visit Erasmus and challenge him oops too high and after that we'll probably finally visit the other half of town and uh, move forward with our quest gold basically. Alright, so we'll buy two of these. And that's enough. If I have enough, I'll just buy this now. Excellent. What do I have left? Two gold. Okay, good. Uh so We'll talk about this undead engine later, but um, it's one of the only pieces of the game, probably the only piece that uh, I'll be doing prior to it really coming up in the story. Um, and I'll explain more why when it comes up, but it's just not something I like to bother dealing with uh, under a time crunch because it can get annoying sometimes. So we shall sleep for the night. Hopefully refill all of our stats, all of our mana, magic, health, stamina, everything. Good. And we will save it here and pick up next time. All right. See you later.